All right, guys. Arizona Review Bros. We are back with another review. Today we have a West Coast IPA from Bottle Logic. It is called Charisma, right? Charisma Check. Charisma Check. I like the name, like the label. Yeah, super cool label going on. Six point seven percent. Let's give it a shot. Crystal clear coming out. Nice. Full white head. Okay. Oh, that's crystal clear. We just picked these up from Tap and Bottle. All right. Our spot right now. They just got a bunch of uh, Bottle Logics in. Actually, she just told us. Nice. I think we. I think they got two Bottle Logics in. We took them both. Uh, the next one's another peach. Peach fuzzy. Uh, what is it? Fuzzy peach, and it's. I don't know if it's a hazy. But it might be a double. It is. It is a hazy. Yeah. Smells good. Yeah. It smells piney. A little pine, some citrus, of course. For West sure. Coast, this is a West Coast style. So we should hear, we should taste some pine and citrus. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh, well, that's good. It's got a very dry, uh, like a very dry mouthfeel to it. Crisp. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't consider it juicy though. No. It's crisp, it's carbonated. It's good. I mean, nice head on it, good head retention. Some moderate CO2 off the bottom. Looks like a well-made beer, I'd say. Yeah. So this episode, though, we have something special going on. All right. We still need to toss out our, uh, our ratings real quick, but we're going to do an unboxing. We had uh, a fan, Jen, from Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Shout out to Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She sent us uh, a 12. I believe she said 12 beers. Okay. So That's awesome. We got them boxed up, ready to go, but we're just going to finish this beer up with us and We'll check them out. Sounds good. Yeah, if anybody wants to do any trades or anything, like try some Arizona beers, um, we're definitely going to send Jen some beers back. But yeah, like if you guys want to, if you live in a cool spot, we're talking to, what's the guy's name, Oklahoma City? Yeah. Um, okay, see. Beerhead, I think. Something that, like that. His name? that, so that might great. be his name. We'll have to check that. But he's talking about doing a trade with us. So um, yeah, if anybody else wants to trade, we're down. we'll send like some of the top beers that we can get here in Arizona. So you want to give it a quick score? Quick score. Bottle Logic. It's good. Seven nine. Seven nine. Okay. Seven, nine. I'm gonna go a little lower. I'm gonna go seven seven. Okay. But solid beer. Do you want to grab the? Let's grab it. Let's grab the package. Cheers, Bottle Logic. That Cheers. Was, that was great. Yeah, it was good beer. All right, this is pretty exciting. We got a package of beers. This is our first shipment from a fan, right? First one here. Let's move some stuff out of the way a little bit. Let's let's crack into this. Oh my God, it's a big package. Yeah. Let's crack into this thing. This is a no joke. So. Let's get right to it. Some of this out of the way here. 14 by 14 by 12. Talk to me. So these beers are all from Texas, correct? I don't know if they're brewed in Texas, okay. but they're definitely all purchased in Texas. Okay, good to know. All right. We got some fake, uh, fake can looking okay. packaging Okay, hopefully here. that's not part of the 12. Yeah. <laughs> here, let's put this up on here. All right. We'll... Yeah, I'm just going to sip my beer. I'll just watch you, we'll I'll just watch you work. Let's oh. get this box out of the way. Let's start cracking into these. Let's stuff. see what we get, guys. All right. Thanks again, Jen, so much. I am a little here. mad at you. You told Connor that you can start drinking them without me, so that's not too chill, but it's all good. Well, he didn't know how many were in the fridge. Yeah. She told me I can grab a couple out, and we'll just tell him there's a few less in the fridge. For sure. Alright, you want to start with one open? Yeah, one? yeah. Let's both open one at the same time. That sounds good. I need some scissors. What do you got there? I got Carbach Brewing okay. Company, Crawford Bach. What? What so, is that? So, brewed in Texas. Okay. It's just a box. It's our first Texas beer. Yeah. Oh, right here. No, I've had Shiner Bach before. Oh, uh, okay. But this is a 4.5%. Uh, it's a Bach beer, so it's usually malty. Okay. Uh, I actually really like Bach beers. Nice. Boom. So is that a little Thank darker or what? Just like an amber, actually. So probably like an amber ale. Okay, cool. Maybe not even that dark. All right. Next one we got here is Live Oak Hills. So this is, it looks like it's out of Austin, which is kind of cool. Cool, Sick. like, cool label. 4.7. Um, it says Made in the Shade, Live Oak Brewing Company, Austin, Texas. This is a, oh, it just talks about it a little bit, since 1997. Sick. Nice little pills. I don't think we've done a pills here yet. No. So we're two for two for new stuff we're going to try. Let's 
Let's line them up, dude. Yeah, we got another busted one. Oh, no, really? Yeah. It's all right. Crack into this I one. I gotta take this to the fridge. Oh, or, or no. the sink. The it's, sink. It's all right, it's all right. Is it just leaking all over? All right, I got a uh, Blood and Honey. What? American Ale Revolver Brewing Company. Interesting. Okay, I think I just cut this one open with the scissors. Oh, well, let's, let's just pour it in a glass. All right, so this is Revolver Brewing Company, 7%. Uh, ale brewed with blood orange peel, honey, and spices. This sounds delicious. I'm actually really excited about that already. Oh, and we're drinking one. We got one. a special. Oh, we're drinking one. A special appearance. What is that? What is this one? I didn't even look. I'm just Fireman's. Full. I'm just full of beer. It's here. a blonde. All right. Let's keep it rolling, dude. Is it out of another Texas? They're probably all out of Texas. Wow. This is I'm sick. Loving it. I'm loving this it. This is really cool. I'll try not it's to. It's just like a couple kids on Christmas right now. <laughs> I'll try not to uh, crack into some bottles or some cans. I don't know how that happened. That's all right. It should happen. There's a slash mark. And we're using scissors too, not even like a razor blade. Maybe we should have. I should have brought some blades over or a knife over. All right. Let's keep it rolling. All right. Next one I got here. Retail Brewing Company, San Antonio, Texas. All right. Sold out. IPA, six point eight percent. Woo! I like the sounds of that. I'm on that one. All right, this one is Bat Out of Hell's German style lager, four point seven percent. Retail brewing. Same, same thing, free tail. Yeah, All right, cool. Boom. Sick. Those would be good. That's probably like one of the bigger breweries. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get all this trash out of here. So you got six more to go. Let's keep it rolling. Halfway done. But yeah, I mean, let's trade some beers with some people across the country. It'd be awesome. Some people say, you know. Beer goes bad if it gets warm or whatever. We're not too picky. You know, we'll send you some warm beer back and it'll be all good. And so it's a Mexican lager. Finding Friday from Busted Sandal Brewing Company. Busted Sandal? Wow, that's cool. It has like a sandal on it that's busted. It has a Texas logo right in the middle of it. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that is really cool. And the little Mexican flag colors on the can. Nice. That sounds good. All right, this one is Three Nations. Haze Wizard. Okay, okay. New England style IPA double dry hop. That sounds like my style of beer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jen. Haze Wizard. Uh, let's see. Farmers Branch, Texas. Three Nations Brewing Company. Sick. Awesome. Cheers. What else we got? I'm really struggling with this. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I'm starting to sweat. All right, we're gonna get through it. I got one here. That was quick. Love Street Carbach Brewing, Colt uh, Kolsch style blonde. Four point nine percent. All right. I love the variety. We're getting blondes. We're getting box. We're getting IPAs. It's awesome. I love because it because we literally only drink IPAs and hazy IPA, IPAs and doubles and triples. So this will be fun to switch it up. Okay. That looks like. Lagunitas? So I've had a lot of Lagunitas. I've never seen this one. Mm. Hazy Memory IPA. Wow. You heard of that one? I have not, but... Whoa! You flip the can over, same logo, just like in color. It's different color. That's pretty cool. Super dope. Um, yeah, Lagunitas, I've been drinking the standard Lagunitas IPA for so long. It's one of my favorite mm -hmm. I saw, what was it, Beer Bellies? They did a uh, review of it the other day, actually. Alright, I'm really struggling to get into this one. Feel my pain, man. You're opening them all like this, huh? Oh, this is wet. That's yours. <laughs> I was gonna hand it off to you. <laughs> oh, no. This looks like a... Careful. If it's a gusher, you take it to the sink. It looks... That's, that's probably been opened. The last one I opened on the cut, I think that one's been opened. Okay. This looks like another log of this. Oh yeah, this is what I was just talking about. The signature IPA? This is the signature IPA. I don't see it open, but it obviously it is open. So we're is gonna- Does it feel full? No, it feels half empty. Okay. So we're gonna have to toss this, but is this the, this is the standard, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I was just talking about. One of my favorite beers right here. Thank you so much, Jen. It did not make it. It might've exploded. I'm not sure, but- I don't know how. It looks sealed. It's just, 
they got a crack at it or something somehow. But all right, the last one, last one. I need to wash my hands. I need to wash my hands, but this is awesome. Okay, I think you sent me a picture of this one. Ooh, what is the that? The Hopadillo. Hopadillo. Carboc Brewing Company. Okay, another Carboc. Uh, that's saying. IPA? Yeah. Or just says, what are you seeing? Uh, one pint. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. It's it looks got, awesome. I love the Hopadillo. It's got the Armadillo with the Hopadillo on it. Pretty cool. Sweet. All right, so again, thank you so much, Jen. Is there anything else you want to say to her? Thank you, Jen, very much. We're, uh, this is our lineup. We're going to review these in the next couple weeks for sure. Stay tuned. We're going to knock them all out. Hell yeah. All right. Peace. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you.